Good morning. Today is the big day. It's probably about 8.25 right now. Doors open for graduation at 9. So I have a little bit of time to get myself together and start walking up there. Today is the last day of undergraduate college life. I'm going to be speaking at graduation today, so that is a very exciting part of today. Have my speech all prepared. Very grateful for the opportunity and should be a lot of fun. All right, man, today's the day. We're all fitted up. Got the whole gown going, got my funny hat. So we're ready to graduate. Headed there right now as we speak, walking. Um, and I think I just wanted to say to enjoy the moment. I know yesterday in my video, I mentioned that I didn't really get to enjoy college this past year because of everything that was going on with the job hunt and whatnot. But today, I think I really wanna be grateful for the opportunities, everything that's come from college. So let's have a good one today. Class 24, congratulations. We made it, look at us. Thank you, Dean Anderson. Uh, my name is Nathan Salapong. If you guys don't know me, we went to college together. Um, so to get into this, most of us came here to the University of Pittsburgh during a wild time. I know we're all sick of hearing about COVID, but for old time's sake, we settled into our dorms in this new environment and got excited for the college experience in 2020. Who knew how familiar we'd all get with our four walls and our assigned pods that we never dared to venture out of, right? We joined classes from the comfort of our beds, I mean dorm room desks, and attended student organizations virtually. Needless to say, our introduction to Pitt wasn't an ordinary one. Sophomore year, we gained a sense of normalcy with the return of in-person classes. Granted, we were still in that odd limbo phase of semi-recognizing classmates from Zoom classes, but not being completely sure because we could only see half their faces. We frequented the halls of Mervis and Senate and were able to attend our student org meetings physically. With that, we got to experience football games at good old Heinz Field. And what better way to celebrate this return than with the ACC championship? Junior year was a grind, taking harder classes in our major and applying for internships on top of everything. We congratulated friends and celebrated our achievements on LinkedIn. Not to mention, we hosted and won the first backyard brawl since 2011 at good old uh, Akersher Stadium, although we'll fondly remember it all as Heinz Field. <laughs> and this year, gone in the blink of an eye, huh? We barely fended off our senioritis and made it through our final classes. ChatGPT can make mistakes. Consider checking important information. Um, not sure how that got in there, must have p passed through the revisions. <laughs> Anyways, we attended our last formals and said our goodbyes to the beloved student organizations that have become such crucial parts of our identities. And what's next? We graduate in a time that is equally as crazy as when we started here. It's no secret that the job market is tough right now, and whether your next steps are continuing education, you have a full-time job lined up, or your part-time job is applying and interviewing like myself, I wish you all the very best moving forward. Our presence here today is a testament to our resilience and determination honed through navigating a myriad of challenges. Though it may be tempting to seek comfort in familiarity, we recognize that growth thrives beyond our comfort zones. In closing, I draw inspiration from Marcus Aurelius's meditations he writes, what could occur without change? Can a hot bath be taken without the wood for fire undergoing change? And can nourishment be gained without the transformation of food? And can anything else of value be achieved without change? Indeed, change is integral to progress. Therefore, let us not merely tolerate the changes that come our way, but embrace them willingly. Class of 2024, 
congratulations on completing an incredible four years here at the University of Pittsburgh. And one last time as an undergrad, hail to Pitt.